Hey, what's up guys? Good morning, or at least it's a good morning for us over here at the property. Guys, we got a big special surprise for you today on this video. Look at this, man. The 96s are in town. Joe, what's up, brother? Hey, good morning. How we doing? Good, good. good. How are you doing? I'm solid. You? I'm living the dream, bro. This is uh, this is my wheelhouse. So, uh, so many of you guys wanted to see the Xmark 96 lawnmowers. Um, you guys know that Xmark makes some baller product. This is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. I'm here on my time. Joe's here on his time. Uh, but you know what? I do like Xmark. We bleed red, right? Sir. And uh, they make a pretty good product, if I must say. And so many of you guys wanted to see the 96-inch mowers, right? So we're going to be putting them through the Test, taking them through the ringer and in fact we've got my vanna what up rob good morning bro good morning. how we doing doing all right actually rob volunteered he goes hey you're gonna be testing lawnmowers i'm gonna test your lawnmowers let me get on one of the bigger ones this time hey, man. let me see how i do i so. love it i love it dude all right so so hang tight with us we're gonna jump in here right now and show you guys a little bit more of the x mark 96. So Joe, really quick, let's take it away with you, brother. What do we got going on here? You want to do a walk around? Show us what we're working sure. with? Sure. So uh, this morning we got the 96 gas okay. and the 96 diesel. All right. Um, obviously, it's been an awesome product for us. Um, come 2018 is when we started with the, with the 96 diesel. Um, you're talking 37 horse Yanmar power in the diesel. Then we have a 38 horse Kohler gas in there. Okay. Both are Red Tech equipped units. Um, eight foot cut. Wow. Get her done. You're talking about uh, nine and a half to ten acres an hour on this one, eight and a half to nine acres an hour on that one. Dang. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Uh, how did the decks float up? That's going to be my first question. And so the decks will articulate some. You're about 15 to 20 degrees up and down. Okay. Um, not wouldn't be afraid to put it down into a ditch or anything like that. Okay. Um, what I like to tell everybody is when they're demoing the unit. Go ahead and stick it in there, and if it's too far up or down, the yeah. unit will shut itself off. And they oh, got wow. safety switches in there, so therefore, if it's too high up, it'll kick it off. If it's too far down, it'll kick it off as well. All right. So um, you, it's a good way to test it. Can you jump on? I want to hear how these uh, two engines sound. A lot of folks uh, love the diesels, uh, but there is a price uh, premium to this, right, for the diesel compared to the gas. Oh. Oh. That sound pretty good. That sounds nice. That sounds nice. That, sounds really nice. <laughs> that is nice. Okay. There you go. All right. <clears throat> so that's our diesel option, right? Yes, sir. Do you see the pulleys in that thing? Look at that. Jeez. That's some big pulleys, bro. <laughs> and another completely different setup that a lot of people don't realize too. This is run off a drive shaft. Okay. That comes down in and then which runs your deck. Okay. So it's not belt driven, it's shaft driven down to the deck. There you go. There you go. That's actually, I've never seen that in an X mark. There you go. Only on the diesel. Only on the diesel, okay. So, so what is there a button over here or how do we do this? Yep. So you got a you got a toggle switch here. Okay. And the cool thing about the gas versus the diesel, there is actually electric over a hydraulic on the gas. So which means it doesn't have to be running to put it up and down. Okay. But the diesel does have to be running. Okay. Fair well, enough. With this one here, obviously we're going down. Wow, that's actually way quicker than I thought. Whoa. No way, dude. So let me ask you this. What's the width on the deck when it's folded up? Can it fit in an well shoot, you got an enclosed trailer behind you. That's I, all. I so, do. So hey, and I'm, I'm not a little cat and I can get between the wall and the mower, so it works out good. Do you know what the, it folds uh, up to? Like you said, I 70? believe it's seven foot. Seven foot? Yep. Dang. So any good eight eight and a half, nine foot trailer, you should be good to go. Absolutely. Alright, uh let's do this. We're gonna come back, do some features and benefits, but dude, you wanna jump on? Let's 
get on it. Let's get on it, man. Let's jump on it. All right, we'll get some headphones, get some hearing protection. Let's jump on it. Let's put, start putting this, uh, some stripes on the property. We've got three acres of fresh, wet, dewy grass. The ultimate challenge, Joe. Let's Here we see. go. Let's go. All right, Rob's jumping on three and a half. Well, it's actually been like 12 days because I didn't get to cut it over the weekend. And it is Friday today. So we're almost at two weeks of growth. It hasn't really been growing too, too bad, but. That thing is huge, bro. It's big. Wow, look at that whip. Can you guys see this? There you go. 96 inches all the way down. Dude, that is a what? Look at the swath, bro. You can do my property. How many acres per hour? About nine and a half to 10 on the diesel. So this is gonna take us like 20 minutes, bro. For sure. Especially when we got two. Yeah. You wanna jump on the gasser? Yeah. Here we go. I'm probably gonna jump on the Z, that way I can keep with you guys. That's fine. Hey, if you guys are enjoying this video, big thumbs up. Uh, I know this mower is not gonna be for everybody. Joe is actually just telling me that, that if you got specialty properties or you're getting paid to knock down fields like this, schools, hospitals, come on, that's what this mower's for. However, who doesn't like jumping on a big fat 96 inch mower and tearing it up on a property like this? So this is how I spend my weekends. If you guys enjoy the video, big thumbs up. Don't sleep on me, big thumbs up. We really appreciate it. Let's keep you going.
funny story. When uh, we were over at the uh, GIE, what was it, like 2017 or 2018? 18. 20, 2018, this was debuted. And uh, when Liz, you guys know my wife Liz, jumped on the mower, Joe. She jumped on the outside mower demo spot and she parted the Red Sea. If you guys remember the video, some of you have been with us for a while. Uh, she jumps on this whole thing and the whole outdoor demo booth clears. The whole, they just scattered. They just scattered. Everybody scattered to the sidelines and it was the funniest thing ever. And she's like running around like the crazy blonde lady just going, Woo! And I swear to God, as soon as she was done with the demo, she's doing zero turns and stuff. As soon as she's done with it, she parks it, and everybody comes back out. It's like <laughs> it's like Fullerton's wife is coming on out, you know? Everybody run for cover, so, but anyway, which way. Uh, let me see that here, Rob. So, uh, what do you guys think? I, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Rob, what do you think? Demo I, enjoyed, I mean, you know, not having too much experience on the mowers, I mean, I still was able to do it well, just like the 60 inch, yeah. compared to, you know. You probably got three hours of training. Yeah, and maybe. Maybe, know. maybe. <laughs> and you can muscle this whole thing around, oh, not, yeah. not too bad. I, I was able to work that fine, I mean. I like it. Uh, easy time. Joe, uh, all right, let's talk about a little, little debrief here, right? Mm -hmm. So. We were talking earlier, this isn't for everybody, we know that. Um, who is this for? It's guys that are running, what, like municipalities, schools? Absolutely, municipalities, schools, um, guys who cut big lots like this, right? Yep. Um, things where time is a factor, Okay. Right? Um, okay. You know, obviously, we're very proud of our Laser 60. It's some of the, one of the best cuts out there. Um, but at the end of the day, when you need to get stuff done and you're cutting eight foot at a time, uh, these 96 inch mowers are where it's at. Um, I was really happy today to get to come out and actually showcase the cut that these mowers can do, right? A absolutely. Um, they are rear discharge compatible. Um, they're set up right now with a mulch kit and a low lift blade. Those, um, that particular setup will give us the premium cut okay. out of this mower. Okay. Um, now, if you're taking somewhere that's uh, a foot of grass and you're trying to knock her down to three inches, right. sure, you can do it, but you need to rear discharge with it. Okay. Um, you need to leave that back open. Um, yeah, and, and by the way, this isn't a brush hog, right? This is a finishing correct, mower. It's correct. still it's still in that classification. Yes. Like, like you were telling me uh, guys from the field were weighing in that they when they're still cutting larger properties, they're noticing that it's still leaving a good enough cut. It's not a striping mower like a Laser Z. Absolutely. Absolutely. But it still is going to hold its own. You guys saw the shots in the photos. Like that's way acceptable, you know? Correct. I like it. Uh, what, what, how many blades are on this, by the way? So you're talking two in the center and one on each wing. Okay. Yep. What, the 20 inch blades? Or? Uh, they're actually the same blade as a 72 inch mower. Is that right? Yep. Yep. Right. Look Absolutely. You're running a 48 here in the middle and, 70, and a 24 on each uh, wing. And it takes four of the 72 inch blades. No kid. Yep. Uh, last question I have, gas versus diesel. What's everybody picking? You know, um, it kind of goes back and forth. The diesel's been out longer. We have more diesels in the field. Yep. Um, but yep. you, when you're talking 42 on a uh, diesel mower and 32 on a gas, right? You know, uh, for hey, somebody buy a lot of gas for 10 grand. Absolutely. And now you're also talking. You get a little bit more uh, hours in your warranty when you go to a diesel. Okay. Um, but both are 12 gallons of fuel. Uh, the speed obviously is a little more on a diesel, right? Oh, you're yep. going to get a little faster out of it, hence you're getting that extra acre an hour. Okay. Um, a little comfort, bit more muscle. Uh, yeah, you know, it's kind of like having a big Cadillac versus a sports car, right? I mean, the big yeah. Cadillac's going to float down the road nicer, smoother, yep. and, uh, and and that's where you get with the diesel. Not that that doesn't have a great ride, it's just the fact that the diesels have your duty, you know, frame and everything else. All right, so what were you just showing me? You were saying that the deck can articulate. Yeah, so earlier we were talking about how far does the deck go up and down, and I said 15 to 20 degrees when you look at this photo here that's a prime example of how far that deck can go down no kid so it'll just kind of toward the, the hill absolutely or the little valley or yep. so a drainage ditch or a little retaining wall absolutely retention pond thing yeah wow look at that all right cool deal all right so guys we're gonna wrap this one up here joe can these guys find you can you reach out uh can they reach out to you for a demo absolutely absolutely work with your local dealer um the dealer will contact me and we'll all get together and get you going okay uh and also on instagram was it joe J South. Yep, J South 49. All right, hit him up on Instagram. If you guys got questions, you guys are serious, you guys want to uh, you know, pick his brain, learn him a little bit more about the 96, uh, what region do you cover, Midwest? So I have uh, the east half of Michigan and then also from the knuckles up, so sagging on up. So. Oh, all right. Yeah, pretty big territory here in Michigan. And if you guys got more questions, you know, shoot a message to Instagram, uh, to X Mark on Instagram. They'll help hook you guys up. They'll find somebody for you guys. But Joe, thanks so much for the time. Hey, thank you for your time. Absolutely, bro. A little plug for X Mark. And by the way, you guys saw it on the video. Go. Oh, little plug for the new Isotunes Link, little headset, head cans. You like those? Uh, I, I was liking them, yeah. They're Not bad. Nice. Got to plug something in the video, right, guys? So, all right, that's it. Guys, we'll over and out. We'll catch up with you guys on the next one.